Hey everybody, Brandon with Bearded CB82. So today, I know it's been a little while since I posted one of the legacy tool videos. This one, obviously, hand tools. Um, well, it's been about a year, so about that time of year, might as well get one of these done, don't you think? But it's been one I've been meaning to do for a while. We've got uh, all sorts of hand tools here. You know, and and it also makes for a really good comparison video um, in addition to that because of some different brands here that are pretty much made by the same company uh, something interesting on that and uh, yeah other than that let's uh, go ahead flip the camera around and show you guys what I have here before me yep a little bit of a variety huh guys and gals First thing we're going to look at, now this was uh, when I went home this past weekend for my dad's birthday. <laughs> Gave him his little birthday present. Uh, this was something that he went ahead and gave to me. You see that there. Uh, it was something one of his friends that uh, had that wound up passing away uh, this past year as well but uh, one of the family friends. But he went ahead, uh, Cummins three piece long plier set. So how about that, Nate? Eh, they got a little flex to them, but it looks like the one tip was already broken off, but yeah, for uh, <laughs> what I could have used these for before, and uh, I will be keeping these in the toolbox it's kind of nice. It did come with the uh, duck cloth. A little bit of flex on there as well. Plenty long, you know, so these will definitely come in handy. He's like, hey, here you go. Cummins Industrial Tools. So these are pretty good shape too yet. Good knurling to them. little dark it looks like but oh there's plenty of knurling on them that's always a good thing so full polish heads yada, yada, warranty safety all that on the package it's the number 5754 for the Cummins industrial tools that was just something I thought I'd throw in here uh, got that from the old man this past week so those will come in handy. I could have used those a few other times. Okay, next up, uh, my brother, well, he was always in the habit of having a few things. Uh, my dad, this is a Forester set, chain sharpening kit. I've got a file, a basic file for my chainsaw that I have. Uh, my brother had two or three of these, and my dad's got the other one, and he went ahead and told me, go ahead and snag this one. It's got your file guide with file. Uh, another file. Flat file. It's got your uh, holder for your round files, the handle. And. Uh, uh, another guide bar for this guy. That way you can get the proper angle for, for your chain on your cut. So, it's a nice little kit. It doesn't even look like it's ever been used. So, but I do do enough and it's got more pockets for uh, my other files. I can put my other files in this as well and have a good complete set uh, keep with my my chainsaw uh, we've never been known to not have chainsaws in my family and uh, there you go Forrester kit chain sharpening kit good little kit I like it it's overall better than what I had which was just a couple of uh, files that I kept in with my uh, 
chainsaw. Well, I guess we're going to go ahead and run through the Craftsman lineup that you see here before you. Uh, first one, inch and a sixteenth, made in the USA, drop forged. Now, the thing about that one, in particular, was uh, one of the places I worked was underneath of a truck, and I had had the same one. It was, uh, had the full five piece set there's my my inch and an eighth um, my inch and a sixteenth somehow walked away because it was uh, the same size for the fitting on an air tank on a columbia that you had to pull all the stuff off of in order to pull the transmission so you could do the clutch and i had to resort to a backup here for a little while and uh it's often i haven't really had to mess with those same type of air fittings in quite some time so this chinese i think it was harbor freight uh, i can't remember was uh, one of the spare backups from back in the day i used to leave in my truck now it'll go back to the truck so yeah the inch and a sixteenth uh he kept pretty good care of his tools inch and an eighth good old school they still work should be another thing for you guys that are um, air compressor yay uh, just starting off keep an eyeball out for sets like this that go up to inch and five sixteenths inch and a half or whatever uh, yard sales pawn shops what have you these are a good set it goes from uh and remember if it's an inch or inch and an eighth or inch and a sixteenth all the way up to inch and five sixteenths a uh, really good set um, this inch and an eighth here that will be going home with me inch and a sixteenth we're gonna go ahead and uh, put her in her place keep him close guy just drove up uh, one of our drivers uh, Puerto Rican dude next up on our craftsman well got a craftsman here nice patina to it and that's a VS stamping by Western Forge. Uh, USA Forge, nice monster, 15 inch. And probably put a little bit more oil on the jaws there. Um, there again, good, back made in the USA quality. Uh, Craftsman UV, also by Western Forge, little bitty guy. Come on, focus you. There we go. A little bitty six incher. It's a really nice one. Works real well. Jaws are real smooth. Pretty tight. And Proto. That one's a ADF or yep, by Western Forge as well. This is a 12 inch. And then an 8 inch ADV also by Western Forge so everybody knows that Western Forge does make quite a bit of tools for a number of companies uh, one thing to say the least is they have no limit to their quality as far as American made decent price range good durability um, these two guys will be here these two guys uh, be going home with me but uh, these have these have come in handy here in the shop uh, I keep a 12 inch in my truck already um, this big guy is what it is so then rigid aluminum 18 inch Ohio now this one's seen <laughs> seen some days <laughs> it has uh, this is a pipe wrench i keep in my truck i really don't have i've got the pwz's here but um yeah rigid 818 aluminum heavy duty i do like the aluminum ones uh, steel plant we had a four footer that worked awesome on a lot of stuff there wasn't much that that four foot hoss wouldn't do that did have the aluminum handle 
Um, jaws, you just got the pop rivet there. Jaws are still in great shape. Uh, some grit in them, but we can brush those out later. But there you go. I probably do want to spend some time cleaning this up just a touch. But that'll be uh, another day. And then, last but not least, Master Cobalt Hole Saw. Um, got a little hole saw kit at home, inch and three quarters of what this one is. Uh, we actually had to use her, uh, drop some of the dust out. Um, when I got this when uh, getting stuff ready uh, back last year, and the old man told me to go ahead and snag this one as well. So good hole saw, always good to have. Made in the USA. There you go, Morse Master Cobalt. Uh, very nice. That will might come in handy down the road for some things I know. So. Well guys, there you have it for, I know it's been a while since I posted one of these and definitely high time that I do. So, and as always with the rest of them, enjoy the rest of the show, family tractor style. Take care.